Okay. All right. I'm going to show you in this quick little video how to change the feed motor on this type of a tabletop saw. Now, this is pretty much the same whether you're doing one of our machines or whether you're doing an older lower tone. Most of the assembly is the same. Our switch box has got more features to it. So there's a, a few things to consider with that, but I'll just take you through it. So basically on ours, we have this trip bolt. So if you come in, you look closer and I've loosened it already. This is a 916 bolt. So you'll take this apart first. If you don't do that, then you'll end up bending your trip wire, which is not like a big deal, but it's kind of a nuisance. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these four screws out. I take the lower ones out first, and then I take the upper ones out that way. I don't have the thing trying to flop over backwards on me. Now, once you got the down to one screw, you have to support it. Now all my screws are out, and don't lose those screws. They're a little bit shorter than your average screw that you find, so they're convenient to have. And when I undo this, you'll see there's two wires with connectors here. Now you don't want to pull on the wire, you want to pull on the connector, and this allows you to unplug the motor. So when it's unplugged, then the whole box comes apart. Now our wiring on this makes it really simple. It's got the interlock circuit in there, but now you're separate from the machine and all you got to deal with is the motor. Now taking the motor off, our, our coupling has four set screws. So you don't have to take all four loose. You just take, take, and it's helpful to have a wrench on this because I'm a little close here. So let me grab a spot like this. It's helpful to have a little wrench because you can get on it and then undo the set screw. Here, I, I can probably swing it because I'm above the top of the motor. And now the motor slips out. Now you'll notice the set screw, the first set screw you have in you want it sitting right in the middle of the flat. Now, if you have your new motor, you're gonna take these two screws out, take the plate, put it on the new motor. Now, I suggest taking a picture of this when you take it apart, because if you put the plate the other way, it causes problems because it will swing around and try and touch the terminals of the switch. This plate, when the motor's sitting in here, it keeps the motor from rotating inside the box. So, you have your new motor, then you put the plate on. Now you can simply put it back in. Line up the set screw. Now I have a little technique for that. I move, I move it. You see how I'm moving it back and forth as I tighten it. This ensures that that set screw is sitting down into the groove of the flat. Now I cheat and use a little wrench power on it because I don't want these set screws coming loose. And do the same here. I put four of them in just because it's much less likely to come, come apart. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reconnect this. Now sometimes it helps if you aren't as handy with how the things go together. If you don't want to support it with your knee and you don't have somebody else to hold it for you, sometimes it's nice to just get a box or something you can set underneath this. But now I plug the connectors back in set this up and I make sure that there's no wires that are going to rub my fan. Then I come back in here. I'm going to first, and you want to do this first because you don't want to do it after the fact, put the wire through the hole, line the bolt up. Now I can put the four screws in, tighten them up. I like to put a little bit of the black Permatex Ultra Black on the screws so you don't get any oil dribble out from the inside splash. And then put your uh, I do a little, well, this actually normally would have a flat washer on the inside here. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I didn't put it on there, but under that washer, uh, you'll put the Permatex Ultra Black, so it would have a washer on the inside and the outside. So this washer would go like this. Permatex there, put it in, another flat washer, a lock washer, a nut, tighten all this up, put the screws in, you're good to go.